are with Hofstra head coach Krista Kilburn Stavesky, whose team won 20 games last year, advanced to the CAA championship game, gave JMU all they could handle, and qualified for the WNIT. You've had a lot of success over the years at Hofstra, but that's as impressive a resume as, as you put forth. That had to feel really good to be able to break through the way you did. It did, and given the, the team the opportunity to you know to play in that final game, uh, it was a fantastic feeling and really excited. And it just builds, you know, builds us on, on this year and having a veteran squad. So we're certainly excited about you know getting this this year this year going. And you return four starters. How do you mm -hmm. maximize that kind of experience, especially coming off of a fantastic season? Yeah, we return four starters, and and we have one senior starter. So you kind of think about that again with uh, as as many uh, seniors we have, and and uh, and the you know the veterans that we have returning. But um, you know, I, I think there was two major ingredients here. We're just trying to work with here. We want. Uh, Obviously, to the maturity and, and consistency, you know, we keep saying that consistency is that, that key ingredient to our success this year, you know, effort, you know, and attitude every day in practice. So I think that that's huge. And then I've really been very big on saying having fun along the journey, because I think that's the worst thing that you can do right now is just to be focusing on, you know, on let the wins take care of themselves. So those, those are two big, big ticket items I've just been preaching. I hope they're going to buy in and, and drink the Kool-Aid because uh, that's what we need to be doing. Such an underrated <laughs> part of the experience at, at the college level. The other thing, maybe, have you addressed with your team the expectations? Because they're high, both inside and outside the program, I'd imagine, because of what you accomplished last year. Did you talk about not letting the weight of that affect you guys at all? Well, I, I think who's going to put more pressure on expectations than, than we are? Uh, you know, today was a day to find out, you know, how we're respected, what people think. And, you know, I think that gave us some bulletin board material. And uh, so we'll take that. Um, but, you know, yeah, we'll talk about it. We know where we want to be. But, you know, my biggest key from the leadership aspect is from the top down is to, you know, get them to, like I said, seriously, enjoy the journey. The wins will take care of itself if we're we, we're working hard, we're being consistent. You know the maturity and the leadership that is needed for us this year, and it doesn't just come from a senior. We can get leadership from sophomore out of Ashane Durant. We can get leadership from a senior out of Darius Falk, a junior Kelly Loftus, uh, you know Crystal Luciano. So you know that I think that is that's big. But of course, it, you know expectations are the expectations, but how we deal with them and how we deal with it as a staff down and what the message that we want to convey is let's be consistent. You know, uh, I have to steal Urban Meyer's statement. We watched that video at the beginning of the year. You know, be the solution, not the problem. Problem. Uh, you know, and so we sat down and, as a group and we watched that video and we're, you know, and I think it resonated. Let's all be the solution. So if we're struggling in a drill, I'm like, okay, what's the solution? We know it's a problem. We don't need to have a, you know, we don't need to go crazy, but what is, um, you know, what is the solution? So there you have it. So solution is consistency and having fun. <laughs> and Durant, she was fantastic for you last season. You're talking about leadership right. coming from all roles. And last year, she was the conference rookie of the year with 11 points and seven rebounds. Right. What is her impact going to be after coming off of a year like that? And now people know what to mm -hmm. expect from her. How has she changed her skill set? Well, a couple ways to answer it. First, not only CAA rookie of the year, she was all Metropolitan New York rookie of the year and then uh, national mid-major college player of the year too so it's uh it's, it's, it was crazy crazy accomplishments so you talk about expectations and then so what i'm doing is like definitely not putting any of those unrealistic expectations on her this year uh you know she needs to be consistent she needs to provide for us in the rebounding and the scoring punch and and you know do all these kind of things but you know we're you know we're we're certainly, we collectively have a group that can all help and have help everybody in their role. But, um, you know, we're just certainly, you know, she has expanded her role. I have stretched her uh, versatility because she has great range. So I know she likes it around that basket, but she's got great range. So we're going to keep stretching that a lot more um, and just get her, just to keep expanding her game, you know, mentally as well as physically, because physically she's amazing. Uh, yeah. Well, one of the things that will probably help you is you have a couple of different players that can handle the ball. I mean, Darius Falk averaged five assists last year, always seemed to get your offense in the right spot. And then Crystal Luciano really seemed to take a step forward as well. Yeah, yeah our backcourt. Uh, so we have a backcourt duo in the point guards with uh, Crystal Luciano and Darius Falk. And then obviously we have a slew of guards with Kelly Loftus, uh, Asia Jackson, and, and Jaquel, the two seniors that are giving us a lot of punch. But, you know, Darius has, is really stepping up in senior leadership. She's elevated her game. Um, guys are going to laugh because I keep saying this, but she is a woman amongst girls. I mean, she really has, uh, you know, she's improved on her shot. 
I uh, can't say enough about Kelly Loftus because I think she kind of broke out of the shadows a little bit after a freshman campaign. You know, she was you know, disappointed and she's been approving what she can do and her, and her versatility. I mean, she's someone that's not just a shooter and her leadership and her maturity is going to be vital for us. And you, know, you mentioned Crystal. So Crystal and Darius are like a little dynamic duo in the backcourt. Um, put us in a position where it was hard for people to press us. Uh, you know, having two point guards was a really nice idea and it kind of manifests itself for us uh, as the season progressed. And you know, and, and they see the floor as coaches. I mean, Crystal's been a coach on the floor and, you know, and, and just really, you know, finding ways to lead and has improved her shot from her freshman year to her sophomore year and really has improved her game. So, you know, that's, that's the key. I mean, we have to have consistency, but the depth is what's going to make a difference for us and that depth in that backcourt um, because we, uh, you know, they're going to know. You mentioned four starters. Everybody's going to know who's right. doing what. You know, you have Angelise White that we're going to have now from the beginning. You know, we didn't have her until Boston College when, you know, last year. So we'll have her from the start of the season. Um, and then uh, we have a nice little surprise in Sandra Dongmo. And then we have again from Puerto Rico, Aliana Leon, who's d putting up great things. So we just have a really nice group of young ladies coming back. And they're fun to coach and can't wait to get on the floor. And with that versatility, you have the matchups and different right. combinations you can put on the floor as a coach. Describe the beauty of that and how you have to trust them with their reads that they make on the court. Well, that's it. And I think that's where we are right now in practice is the chemistry. You know, we're just further along, obviously. You know, they understand the system. And we're, I'm really just teaching them, you know, just play. Right. Do the things that we're doing out of the system that we're doing and learn how to make reads and play out of this. And I think right. that's what's been fun. You know, we've had three scrimmages already. Just been fun, uh, you know, inner squad. Just been fun watching them just kind of let this light bulb start to come on. And then different aspects you know, hitting, hitting the third option of a play or hitting right. this part, you know, hitting. So it, it's fun. So, you know, from top to bottom, uh, just a great group. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be fun in this journey. And we're going to, you know, enjoy it along the way. And, and we're going to take care of business and uh, show what we're made of here. Coach, 20 wins <laughs> last year, a CAA title appearance, a WNIT berth. A lot to be proud of, a lot to look forward to. Thanks so much for your time and good luck. Oh, I appreciate it. Let me, thanks, give, thanks, let me talk about the, my team. So I appreciate it, guys. Krista Kilburn-Stavesky, head coach of the Hofstra University Pride. Early.